Hello, uh, this is David Brown with uh, CEDL, and uh, today I want to talk about student response systems um, and our polling systems. So some of the ones that are most popular you see here, we're going to talk about Nearpod and Kahoot. We'll also talk about Top Hat, iClickers, Poll Everywhere, and Minty. And you can visit the Georgia View site if you want to click directly to these sources, but I'm going to start out with Nearpod, which is my favorite. So when you, um, you get a free account with Nearpod, and we're working on getting Dalton State um, an unlimited account for all the faculty, but every faculty, every educator does get a free account. And um, basically when you log in, if you want to, do, there are many things besides polls, by the way, um, but if you want to do a poll, you would do create lesson and choose poll. It's that simple. Then once you, um, and I'll show you when you click create, there's all kind of great things here, but you would do lesson, and one of the things in lesson is poll. And you can have quizzes, uh, interactive videos, um, it's really awesome. Then once you make your lesson with a poll, and I'm going to show you some of the things I have in my Nearpod. I have a lot of videos, some quizzes, but the um, once you make your poll or quiz, you would do live participation, and then you would run the poll and um, in your class. They have to have a phone or some kind of device. They log in. You click live participation, and um, then what they have to do is go to the website joinnearpod.com. So, um, but this will give you a code. They need this code. So I have my phone here, and I'll pretend I'm also a student. So, so I've got my phone here. So if the student would go to join.nearpod.com, and basically when they get to that site, it would say, um, it would give them, they have to type in that number, um, that code. So in this case, you see the code there. It is 3Z2 six five and then they click join and um, when they join uh, it'll ask them for um, if you can see that their name so if you wanted to take role if you wanted to um, verify they did it and make it count towards a grade you would make them type in their real name so So then they get this, and then there's the question. In this case, it's a, like a quiz question, but you can do just a poll question too. And then they put in their answer and click submit. And it says your answer has been submitted. So then you as a teacher, um, and it's already come through. So. I already see the answers here, and that's how this works with polling and quizzing and Nearpod. So there's another popular one I want to talk to you about real quick called um, Kahoot. And this is what Kahoot looks like. You get a free account. You can have a, the latest is you can have up to 40 students at a time. Once you get your quiz created, and this is more of a quizzing, but you can do it for polling. And I'll show you how it works. Um, you get your quiz created and then you click start and then very similar um, they will go to a website in this case it's kahoot.it and it will ask for a pin and this pin is 8892551 and that'll ask for a nickname so it asks for a nickname, but you could make them use their real name if you're an accountant. This has a grade book too. So there I am as the student. And then you would click start, and then and then the game starts. And then the student will see every question. So the way this works, 
great place to start your research and education is in this in the student has the shapes so you see the shapes there and we'll answer it and it recorded that so then it keeps track of who's winning and you can it says of course I'm winning <laughs> so there's only one player so um, and then you go through every question and um, and they've got their phone the whole time so this uh, they need to answer this this is uh, hopefully you know best answer we use the um, Library of Congress system at Dalton State not the Dewey Decimal so and then you as the teacher click go through and it tallies the score and the students get really excited and blank are considered excellent resources so once again um, the student will see this pop up with the shapes and this would be scholarly journals so you as the teacher click next and next and you have a lot of options for these if you need library assistance um, you can use all of the above so the student sees that and uh, and all the students can play this I, the latest it can handle up to 40 that went down to 10 as one at one time for free the this website currently has been updated and says it can handle up to 40 people at a time on the free version so and finally true false Google can search anything that is in Galileo. Of course, hopefully you know that's false. So the student puts that in. And um, then you as the teacher click next. And then here's the final score. They're only me playing, but it, you'll probably have a lot more people. And uh, it has a ranking. And there I am, I won the game. So <laughs> now after you do this, it keeps score. And it keeps a um, grade book. So that's two of the most popular ones. Top Hat, Eye Clickers, Poll Everywhere, or, and Minty are great uh, other ones you can use, and they're all very similar. Top Hat is, um, see, I've got it pulled up. It is got, and there's Eye Clicker. Eye Clicker is different because you have the option. They can use their phone, or they can go get something at the bookstore called an Eye Clicker. So um, there are many different options here and um, this is poll everywhere so um, that would be another option and Mentimeter is also called Minty so and finally Top Hat. Top Hat has got way more than any of these but it, it, it is free to students but to catch with Top Hat there's a charge to the teacher uh, although there is a free part of Top Hat so um, if you want more help, you can uh, come to the uh, CEDL site on the second floor of the library or look at the Georgia View CEDL site. And um, good luck with whichever ones you do choose. And if you need help with those, uh, let us know. Thank you.